So let's take a look at the grid for you. Chalenta starts out of position one alongside his Italian Paralin Motorsport teammate, Travisanuto, the Stelhimmer, out of three alongside Marcus Kayak, Paul Ribeira, Thomas Inberg, Jaka Bergmeister, Yarislav Shevritalov, Ivan Klimenko, the Ukrainian, in the Intrepid, and Nikita Artamanov for the SRP Racing Team in the 40 Marinello. Giorgio Carana from Argentina in the Lenzo Kart, Lev Lomko for CPB Sport. Holt Sam, Simone, Matteo Segre, Nayatsev, Kotiga, Victor Turkin, and Jonas Salen on the final grid position for the KH Racing Team is the Swede. First time with us in WSK competition. Same can be said for Darius Kotiga from Bucharest in the Gold Star Racing Team. Victor Turkin, one of the numerous Russians in the field. Part one, position one to the left of your screen. Paralin, lock out the front row of the grid. The WSK Final Cup here at Adria Karting Raceway. This is pre-final A for KZ2. We race. Stell almost stalls it from the second row of the grid as the Paralene drivers make no mistake to lead down into turn one and two. The German driver in the Lenzo card out of grid three almost went nowhere. And it is Thomas Inberg in the CPB Sports Soddy card who's rocketed up into third place. Great start by Thomas, the French driver, the French card here in the north of Italy in P3 in cart four. Thomas starting out of grid six and he closes in on the back of the two Paralene drivers who lead the early stages of pre-final A this morning. We're looking for Marcus Kayak. 37 for Ward Racing is the Estonian. There is still in P5, so not a bad recovery. After he almost stalled off the line, the Lenzo card goes through in P5. Already we complete the opening lap of the race. Celenta Travisanuto and Thomas Inberg. There's Marcus in P4, he's got his own problems in the form of the German Daniel Stell, Yarislav Shevritalov, Nikita Artamanov, the Russians right behind, and then Jakob Bergmeister. Jakob Bergmeister cart six for the Sebeki Racing Parts team in the Marinello cart. SRP with the engines tuned by the former European champion Fabian Federer. Jakob started out of grid seven. In the six, Marinello. There's another Marinello card in the field in the form. Of Nikita Artamanov, the Russian, in position seven at the moment in car 40. But it's the Paralympics one and two as we build up to speed in the opening stages of the final AKZ2, the WSK Final Cup. This is a good start to the race from Thomas Inberg as Marcos Kayak has to defend for his life with Daniel Stell looking over his left shoulder. Back to that mentioned Marinello card of Nikita Artamanov, card 40, who's ahead of Shevritalov. The CPB Sports Soddy card. Remember they won this title, the WSK Final Cup, a couple of seasons ago with Adrian Renaudan. That was a Castelletto di Branduzzo. The Soddy card team, a world leader in KZ racing over the past few seasons. But it is Paralin 1-2. Not too far from their base in Bassano del Grappa. Celenta, P1, Cart 1. Travisinuto, P2, Cart 2. There's Giorgio Carrara going through the Argentine Cart 32 for the Lenzo Car team. Sandro Holtzem behind Matteo Segre. Holtzem in 38 for the CB Performance Group, the TM Powered Cart Republic. And Matteo Segre doing a fine job in 31 in the OK1 Cart. Holding off Sandro, who's not long out of the OK direct drive category, is the German. Sandro in 16. Darius Cortiga, the Romanian, in the final qualifying position at the moment, in 17th place. 19 starters, 19 still in the race. As Thomas Inberg closes in on the back of Lorenzo Travisanuto. We go back in time in history. Lorenzo Travisanuto, he won the first ever edition of the WSK Final Cup. That was at the Ortona circuit, 2011, and Lorenzo was racing in the mini category. He's had a brilliant career, it's far from over yet. 
recently changed from the green team to Parolin. Had that success in the International Super Cup in Sweden a couple of months ago. Lorenzo Travisanuto won the WSK Supermaster Series with Ward Racing in Tony Kart in 2016. Multiple world champion. And now with Parolin, he runs P2 at the moment. Daniel Stell still in P5s, trying to recover from that. Well, not the best start. Marcus Kayak defending, though, and doing a nice job is the Estonian in car 37. The Vortex Power Tony Car P4. There's Thomas going through, trying to find a way by Lorenzo Travisanuto, the driver from Pordenone in Friuli, Venezia, Giulia, not too far from the Slovenian border. Just near Udine. The famous football team Udinese he is from near to Lorenzo's hometown. And of course, he's one of their more famous exports in the past few years, a world-class driver. He's in position too, but Francesco Cialenta is leading the way and pulling away half a second ahead because Travis Anuto is having to defend from Thomas Hinberg. Marcus Kayak, Daniel Stell sideways over the ripple strip. They slam it down through the chicane. Spectacular to watch here at Adria. Travis Anuto, opposite lock, like a WRC car down into the final corner. And Thomas Inberg says, well, if you can do that, I'll do the same. They're still in the Lenzo car, P5, just ahead of the two Marinellos for SRP Racing, Nikita Artamanov and the German, Jakob Bergmeister, Shevardy Talov, Paul Ribeira, the Austrian P9, and Giorgio Carrara, the Argentine who was racing with Jensen Motorsport in the FIA Formula 3 Championship last season. He's in P10, part 32, the driver from Buenos Aires in Argentina, the South American, is ahead of Mauro Simone. Lev Lomko, Ivan Klimenko, Marit Nayatsev, Segre, Holtzem, Cotiga. He's in the final qualifying position, the Romania, coming onto the straight now at the top of your screen. Position 17 at the moment, Victor Turkin and Jonas Sala, they'll miss the final unless they can both make up two places in the second half of this race. Still, still stuck in P5. In the Lenzo Kart is Daniel, powered by the TM. Giorgio, also in the Lenzo Kart, he's using the LKE engine. The team of Michele Lenzo, based in Sicily or Sicilia, in the south of Italy. A brilliant world-class manufacturing facility down in the south of Italy manufacturing the Lenzo and Luxor cards. They won the WSK Final Cup last time we raced it in 2019 with the Swede DDX, Douglas Lundberg, when he beat Leonardo Bizzotto and Harry Thompson to the podium two years ago at this very circuit. Of course, in 2020, the event was unfortunately canceled. You know why, we won't go into that. But we're back for 2021. The Lenzo car team, they also took the 2017 WSK Final Cup with the Roman Francesco Jacobacci. He won it with an LKE-powered Luxor car four seasons ago. At the moment, still in P5, Carrara in P10. Fastest lap of the race now for Paul Ribera, the Austrian, who's been in brilliant form all week. He didn't get a good start, though. He's faded back to P8, but now he winds up. The KSW Dural Art Austria driver He's just done a 47.877, quickest driver on the circuit. He's ahead of Yarislav Shevritalov, Karara, Simone, but he's behind Jakob Bergmeister and Nikita Artamanov in the two SRP Racing Marinello cars. He's glued to the back of them, in fact. There he is, Paul Ribera, the Austrian in 36, behind cart six of Jakob Bergmeister. So once again, the theme as a date race, which we've had throughout the 48 heats raced here in the past three, two days. It is something of a relief after what we've had in the early part of the season, some hectic events, without making direct reference to that incident here at the circuit in the Open Cup, but relatively incident free, and the field have spread out with one eye on the final later this afternoon. You can catch the KZ final at 20 past three local time here in Italy. Our first final is at 20 past two. That is for OK Junior this afternoon. The final event of 2021. 
as Matteo Segre in the background getting a glimpse of him trying to make the move in fact no it was Paul Ribeiro Paul Ribeiro does finally go through and make up one place on Jakob Bergmeister it was a messy move you might have just got a glimpse of it but Paul Ribeiro has now gone through the Austrian takes the German there's the Birol Art for the KSW Birol Art Austria team he's gone through he's now in P7 next in line is he actually went past Shepardy Tarloff. He's got to get by Bergmeister. Nikita Artamanov was the loser in that messy move. He's gone back to ninth as the Russian, as Daniel Stell is still glued to the back of Marcus Kayak. The Estonian for Ward Racing, last season racing in OK. This season stepping up to do the KZ2 shifter cart category. He's in P4 at the moment. Daniel Stell trying to find a way by the Estonian. Parolin 1-2 here in pre-final A, the WSK Final Cup at Adria Raceway. It's Chalenta from Travis Unuto. Thomas Humberg sits there in P3. It'll be a third row start for the CBB Sport Saudi car driver from France. And there is Kayak still, still in P5. Ahead of his countryman, Jakob Bergmeister. The German speaking at drivers, 5-6-7. Still Bergmeister and the Austrian, Paul Ribera. Then go the two Russians, Shevri Talov, Nikita Artamanov, Mauro Simone in P10 from Lomko. Karadas falling back to 12th place as the Argentine ahead of the Ukrainian in the Intrepid Cup. That's Ivan Klimenko ahead of Nyatsev, Holtzam, Segre, and still Darius Kotiga for Gold Star Racing in the final qualifying position. Three laps remaining. Still has got by Marcus Kaya for P4. And Sandro Holtzam going through. Car 38 behind Nayadzev ahead of Matteo Segre and Darius Cortiga. Further back in the pack, Lev Lomko making the move, trying to go by Giorgio Carrara. And it looks as though the Frenchman has got the Argentine for 11th place. Travis Anuto, car two, sits there in second place, just waits with one eye on the final this afternoon. Two laps now remaining of this 1,302 metre circuit, which was built back in 2014. They're still going through ahead of Marcus Kayak and Jakob Bergmeister, the top German in P6. Bergmeister, car six, in that position as well. The Marinello for SRP Racing. Yes, the first edition of the WSK Final Cup was held at the Ortona Circuit back in 2011. 2012, 2013 at Castelletto di Branduzzo, south of Milan. And the first ever race at this circuit was the 2014 WSK Final Cup. A new venue, though, for 2022. When we go to Napoli for the final cup, along with the final event at South Garda Karting. That's next year. You can check that out on WSK.it. As you see at the bottom of your screen, Sandro Holtzan, he just retired on the penultimate lap. The German is out and his weekend is over. Victor Turkin moves up into the final qualifying position of 17th place. Last lap, the Paralim drivers get very close. Chalenta from Travis Anuto. They run 1-2. In carts, one, two. The team from Bassano del Grappa, from Albino Paralin, a world-class manufacturer and a brilliant racing team as well. Two brilliant drivers, Francesco Celenta from Napoli will lead home. His teammate, Trapi Sonuto, rides the ripple strip. But it's a Paralin one, two in KZ2 pre-final A. Celenta wins it from Trapi Sonuto. Inberg, Stel P4. As Artamanov comes across the line, head of Simone, Lonko, Klimenko. There is Matteo Segre in the OK1 cart. Darius Cortiga makes it through for Gold Star Racing. The Romanian will race the final. And we wait for the Russian, Viktor Turkin, to cross the line for the Drago Course Racing Team in 17th place. He does so, and with that, Heads home, Jonas Salin. Turkin will line up 
on the final roll of the grid for the final later this afternoon. So quite a sedate race for the pre-final. Well, the first of our two pre-finals for KZ2, it was a Carolina Italian. 1-2, Chalenta winter from Trabisonudo. Hamburg in P3 from Stell, who did not recover from that less than ideal start. Kayak, Buchmeister, Ribera, Shevritalov, Artamanov. The team Komarov and SRP respectively. And Mauro Simone, a good try to 10th in the OK1 cart. Lomko, Klimenko, Giorgio Carrara, Nayatsev, Segre, Darius Cotiga for Gold Star Racing and Victor Torgin. The Russian for the Drago Course Racing Team makes it through in position 17.